today we are going to read a science article. And a science article is nonfiction. It gives facts about a topic in nature. Uh, as we're reading, we're going to check out some text features. And the text features that I want you to pay attention to are the photographs and their captions. Um, they help you understand the text better. And lots of times I think when you're reading and your teacher says, how does the picture on page whatever help you to understand the text better? Sometimes we don't know what our teachers are talking about. So what that means is if your teacher says, how does the, the picture on page 180 help you understand the text better? What we want you to do is look at the picture and read the caption. The caption will tell us what's happening in the picture, which makes you understand the text better. So let's get started. Uh, the text is called A Protected Place and it's written by Elizabeth Sengel. We're gonna start with setting a purpose. The purpose for our reading today is going to be to find out about a rainforest in Africa. So look at this photograph. You'll notice the caption. It says, the tops of trees create a cover over the Ituri forest. You'll also notice that there's a picture of a map. Here's the globe, it shows Africa. And then it zooms in to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, which is where this rainforest is. On this page, you'll notice this photograph. It shows a strangler fig grows around another tree in the forest. Here is a giant fern. Right here's a picture of vines. Over here, we have an okapi running through the woods. Here's a zebra, a horse, and a giraffe. Those are important things to notice because those are going to be talked about in our text today. On this page, you'll see we have a yellow-backed dikers, a pato, or a tree bear, and then down here, an elephant eating plants in the forest. On this page, we have an okapi eats leaves. They grow in a shady spot. So we turn the page on this page. We have a mbuti pygmy child is fishing. Mbuti pygmies make the, these huts from forest materials. So those houses do not look like our houses, do they? On this page, we have this photograph and it's a picture of soldiers march, soldiers march during the war. On this, we have this picture um, of this bridge is important to Iwongo. Um, he hid under it once during the war. So apparently we're gonna read something about that. And then on this page, we have people sometimes sneak into the Okapi Reserve. They cut down the trees. And on this page, this photograph, Iwongo wants to train young people. He wants to help protect forests in Congo. And here's a, another picture of Iwongo. And that's the end of our text. So now that we've done a picture walk, we're gonna go through, this, through the science article. And um, this will just be our first time reading through. So I'm gonna make some stops and talk about some things. A protected place, a special place. The Okapi Reserve is an amazing place full of amazing plants. It is in the northeastern corner of Congo and is part of a tropical rainforest called the Ituri Forest. The reserve covers 5,200 square miles of land. If you flew over the reserve in a plane, all you would see is a thick green cover. But plant life fills the forest. From top to bottom, it is a tangle of roots, branches, and leaves. The forest is so dense that very little sunlight seeps in. So right here where it says in bold text is so dense, it means it has so many plants. And right here that very little sunlight seeps in means to enter, okay? Something else I want to point out is that when we're reading, when we see words in parentheses right here, like this one, this is there to help you pronounce the word. So if you look at this, this O with a straight line over it tells us to say that letter O, ka, P, O, copy. And then we know the word reserve and then rainforest. And you should talk about that in your classes. A variety of plants. One amazing thing about the Okapi Reserve is its diversity of plants. There are hundreds of native species of plants in the reserve. So if I come down here, I can see native species of plants means different kinds of plants that grow naturally in the reserve. Vines dangle from the trees or hang from the trees. 
The leaves of giant ferns curve like dinosaur tails. T tall trees reach toward the sky and make a roof with their thick leaves. The purpose of the reserve. The Okapi Reserve was created in 1992. The purpose of the reserve is to protect the rich diversity of plants and animals. The reserve's name comes from one of those animals, the okapi. This strange looking animal has stripes of a zebra and the neck of a horse. But guess what? It's related to the giraffe. So in other words, it's related to means it's in the same animal family as the giraffe. A leafy home. Many different animals, such as elephants, dikers, and patos, depend on the forest. Some of these animals make their homes in trees. So again, you can see I knew how to pronounce that word because it's in parentheses right here, and it tells me dikers, and then patos for this word. Many animals also rely on plants for food. Remember the okapi? It eats the leaves of plants that grow well in the dim light of the forest. So right here's the word dim. I can come down here and see dim means low or weak. It has a long tongue that rips the leaves off the branches. The okapi reserve has plenty of leaves for okapis to, for okapis to munch or to eat. And then here's, now we know that this photograph with this caption, an okapi eats leaves, they grow in shady spots. Now we know how it relates to the text. A home for humans. People make their home in the Okapi Reserve, too. Mbuti pygmies have been living in the rainforest for hundreds of years. So Mbuti pygmies, down here, it's a group of native people. According to one botanist or a scientist who studies plants, Mbuti pygmies are, quote, walking dictionaries of nature. They understand everything about the forest and they rely on it for food, shelter, and clothing. So... Based on the text, right, we can use context clues right here to figure out what it means where there's quotations that say walking dictionaries of nature. Is this girl actually a walking dictionary, a walking book, walking around talking about nature? No, she's not actually a book. Can we figure out what that means, though? Mbuti pygmies travel from place to place to hunt and fish. They don't just catch game, though. So down here, game is, a, we know it to be like a board game, but down here, game means wild animals to eat. So they don't just catch wild animals to eat. They also collect insects, seeds, fruit, and honey to eat. They make nets, arrows, and other necessities, or things that they need, from forest materials like wood, bark, mud, and leaves. A brave botanist. Corne Iwongo is a botanist who works on the reserve. He loves the forest and its plants and animals. In 1996, something terrible happened. A war broke out, or a war started, in the Congo. Soldiers invaded the forest, or they came, with the, came into the forest with force. They destroyed plants and killed animals, so they ruined the plants. Many of the workers on the reserve ran away, but Iwango wouldn't leave. He knew he had to save the forest. I was afraid, he says, but I didn't have a choice. Iwango rushed to save what he could. He grabbed computers and buried data files in the forest. So down here, data files are computer files with information. He packed thousands of plant samples in boxes, so different kinds of plants. Friends kept the plants safe. Iwango hopped on a bicycle and carried other plants into a neighboring country. Because of Iwango, unique and valuable plants were saved. They would continue to grow again after the fighting stopped in 2002. The future of the reserve. Today, the Okapi Reserve still faces threats or problems. Sometimes people destroy animals' homes. They chop down trees. Yet Iwango and other people work every day to solve these problems. Iwango believes that Congo needs more scientists to study its forests. He is working hard to train a new generation of students or to teach children about plants. He wants young people to understand and protect the Okapi Reserve and other rainforests in Congo.